What is up everybody? Today we are out here on the beach and I'm gonna show you how to catch these guys, sand fleas. So stay tuned. All right, so before we get on this sand flea expedition, if you're looking at the shoreline, all right, part of the battle is figuring out where are they. And these type of crabs or sand fleas uh, move without with the tide. So, you know, right now we have an incoming tide, so they're pushing up the beach. You know, you can catch them all the way out where the waves are cresting, but you're gonna be, you know, up to your waist. You know, where I seem to find a lot of them, you see this receding water where it's kind of got like that saturated sand? That's where, you know, we're catching most of these. So we're gonna try our first one right here. Now, not every time is that first scoop gonna be perfect, but let's see what we get. So you get that sand and then just let the water kind of rinse it out. See what you got. And see like that? Boom. Look at that freaking damn sun. I don't know if you can see that. Try and get it in the sun. That's like 30, one scoop. And that's all about knowing where you're going. I guarantee you, let me dump these in the bucket and we'll take a scoop up here and it's not gonna be as good. And the reason being, they're moving and they're not, they're not in that, you know, that type of water yet. And that's one of the keys is, you know, a little bit of kind of search and discover. So I was all the way up there. I'm gonna try one right here, which is higher up in the column. I don't think it's gonna be as good. So we got our sand. Let's see what we got. All right, so, and look at that. A difference of, you know, 10 feet yields nothing. So you can spend a lot of time coming out here and wonder, you know, why is it so hard? Well, part of the problem is you gotta figure out where they're sitting. Now they move, like I said, with the tide. So, you know, sometimes you gotta, you know, do your research, see what tide you have. Um, what's kind of neat though, on a clear day like we have today, you, you can see them kind of moving around in the surf and they're kind of scurrying around, just trying to move, you know, away from the predators. But let's keep going. Now, big key, I like working into the waves. That way, when you're dragging backwards, it's easier just to lift up, get that sand out. And you don't have to go too deep. I'm going, you know, just, just below the surface. Now we're gonna try digging right here. And right now we have an incoming tide. It seems like the best time to catch them, in my opinion, is low tide. But look, that one scoop right there, you know, produced, you know, four or five. So we'll dig it back down. See if we can't get a few more. But it, the hardest part, honestly, sometimes is, is finding the little area where they're sitting because it could either be too far in or too close to the, you know, the shoreline. You just gotta find that medium ground. I call it the lip. Now the lip is this little area where, you know, the water starts to recede. That's where it seems to be the best. And, you know, you just gotta kind of explore poke around see what's working for you like that basket yielded nothing so i'm gonna move up a little bit see what we got out of this one the only nice thing about oh i just lost a nice one but the only nice thing about an incoming tide is you got plenty of water now i will say this about the rate it is very convenient but there is a drawback and i'm going to show you real quick what that is so right now we're digging and that's exactly what I was, you know, not hoping would happen, but sometimes you decapitate these guys. If you just catch them right on the edge, you know, you end up with half a sand flea, and that's no good, unfortunately. Um, but that's just kind of how it happens. But, you know, that, if that's the only drawback, you know, that's not that bad, because you can catch a ton of bait in a short amount of time. Um, but let's show you the other way. Now, let's say you don't have a rake like I do. It's honestly just as easy to catch them with your hands. All I'm doing, just feeling through the mud or the sand, and that quick. You just sit right below the surface, maybe a couple inches down, and sometimes you find them in colonies. Um, but it's a little bit more tedious this way by hand, but you know, you, you can still catch a ton that way. 
Now the beauty is once you find this, starting to get into the good size ones, they're all in a line. So I work my way, you know, along the beach. Like here's a nice one I just found, the same spot. Kind of like a colony and you can feel them with your fingertips. You know, if you're one of those people that doesn't like to put bait on the hook, this might not be for you because these things, you know, are very wiggly when you're grabbing them and they're trying to, you know, dig deeper into the sand. But uh, I'll tell you what, where I live, a quart of these runs about 25 bucks. And I don't know about you, this rake itself costs about 40, you know, and you can catch much more than a quart, you know, with this rake or with your hands. All right, so 15 minutes worth probably yielded about, you know, 100 or so sand fleas. Uh, I could probably sit here all day and fill this bucket up, but like I said, it's one of those things, you know, only take what you need, you know, it's not an endless resource. So just, you know, make sure you're being conscious of what you're taking. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, click the subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys soon.